In the UK, we use a mixture of metric and imperial conversions. Imperial conversions are older conversions, um, older units, sorry, like miles, inches, feet, gallons, and so on. We need to remember the following conversions for our exam. So length, we need to know that eight kilometers is five miles. So you can also say from this that one mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers. We need to know that. We need to know that one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. Remember, for pounds, we use the abbreviation LBS or LB, which is just um, an abbreviation of the Latin word Libra, which means pounds. And finally, capacity, we need to know that one litre is 1.75 pints. So here are some examples of how we would use this. 24 kilometres into miles, if I want to do this conversion and I don't have a calculator, I would say, well, 8 kilometres is approximately 5 miles. So if I say 8 kilometres equals 5 miles, if I want to change the 8 into 24, I would need to multiply by 3. So I multiply both sides by 3, and I get that 24 kilometres is 15 miles. So I would say 24 kilometres is approximately 15 miles. These are approximations, but they are quite good. Um, secondly, if I want to change 55 miles into kilometres, we just look at it the other way. We know that 8 kilometres is 5 miles. 5 to 55, I would multiply by 11. So I times both sides by 11, and I get 88 kilometres equals 55 miles. So I can say that 55 miles is 88 kilometres. If I want to change 3 kilograms into pounds, well, we know 1 kilogram is 2.2 pounds, so I just need to multiply both sides by 3. So I need to do 3 times 2.2 pounds. Well, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.6, so we have 6.6. .6. So I can say 3 kilograms is 6.6 .6 pounds. On the other hand, if I want to change pounds back to, back to kilograms, well, to get from 2.2 to 1, I would need to divide by 2.2. So what I have to do to go from pounds back to kilograms is divide by 2.2, and kilograms to pounds, you would times by 2.2. So I would need to do 44 divided by 2.2. Now, normally you'd have a calculator for something like that. But if we didn't, we could now multiply the numerator and denominator of the fraction by 10 to give us 440 over 22. 22 goes into 44 twice, so this ends up as 20. So we can say 44 pounds is 20 kilograms. Finally, if I want to change between litres and pints, two litres into pints, well, one litre is 1.75 pints. So to go from litres to pints, you times by 1.75. So I would need to do two times 1.75. So if I did 175 times two, that would give me 15, that would give me 350. So 2 times 1.75 is just 3.5. So we can say 2 litres is 3.5 or 3.5 pints. Finally, if I want to go back, so if I want to go from pints to litres, you need to divide by 1.75. So if I wanted to change 7 pints into litres, I would have to do 7 divided by 1.75 and you'd probably have a calculator for that, but if not, you could times top and bottom by 100 to get 700 over 175, and this works out to be 4. So you'll end up with 4 litres. <coughs> Here are some questions for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go at them, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Don't forget, you're going to need the three conversions that we wrote down earlier. So make a note of them and then use them to help you with the questions. Here are the answers. <coughs> 